Hey, this is Brett with Summit Auto, and first off, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Summit Ford of Beaver Dam for giving me the opportunity to get a video of this brand new 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. Check them out at summitautoford.com. This is a Badlands edition. It's going to come with the two liter turbocharged four cylinder dual overhead cam motor which pumps out 245 horsepower it's going to get you 26 miles per gallon on the highway 21 city and an average of 23 miles per gallon shadow black is the color on this particular bronco sport and we shoot all of our videos in 1080p 60 frames per second so if you have hd capabilities on your computer tablet or smartphone device I highly recommend turning them on right now because it is your best way to check out the looks, styling, and color of the vehicle before seeing it in person. Really like the new Bronco Sport here. I think it's going to do really well. It's a nice alternative to the Escape. It's on the pretty much the same platform, same engine and transmission. The Badlands package, first off you'll notice you get that pretty cool badge on the side here. You also get the gray metallic painted rims. These are 17 inch rims and they have Pirelli Scorpion ATR 225-65 R17 tires on here. Four wheel disc brakes on the Bronco Sport and you get an all terrain tread pattern on those tires. This thing has right around eight and a half inches of ground clearance on it. You can tow up to 2200 pounds with this particular vehicle. This one does have the tow package on it, which we'll check out. You get HID headlamps, or I'm sorry, LED headlamps with the LED running lights, and you also get LED fog lamps. You get the front bumper tow hooks on there, and of course the Bronco lettering across the grill. That's for your 180 degree front camera. I do like the hoods on the uh, Bronco Sports here. They're very horizontal, and you can see all the way to the end on the hood, which is pretty important for me when I'm driving and parking. And we'll check that out in just a second. I'm gonna show you the original window sticker here. Feel free to pause this. I'm not gonna go through everything uh, just because there's a lot to go through on here. Uh, the one thing I do wanna point out, the terrain management system, um, with seven different terrain settings. That's pretty cool. You get all the rubberized flooring in here and um, the 6.5 LCD screen. You also get the off-road suspension and the uh, front 180 degree camera. The Copilot 360 Assist has the Sync 3 8 inch screen with the app link. And uh, get all the safety features right there three year 36 bumper to bumper five year 60 powertrain so this one has the copilot copilot 360 assist plus which is 795 395 for the tow package and then the badlands package is 2595 dollars you get the bno sound system power sunroof reverse sensing system uh, wireless charge pad dual climate control and remote starter and eight-way power driver's seat uh, total MSRP is 37,940. Your miles per gallon is right there. They do not have this safety rated yet. Um, but yeah, feel free to pause that if you wanted to check out everything on there. We're going to finish the walk around on the outside and then I'll show you the interior, which is really good looking. Four wheel disc brakes on this one. You get those backup parking sensors that's included with the blind spot system. The LED running lamps on the tail lamps here. I really like the tailgate. It's very, it's flat, but it's, it's good looking. And everything's nicely centered. Has the lift gate. You also get the lift glass. This is like a hard rubber right here, where this is kind of a, it's hard too, but it's more flexible because it's on the backrest there. You do get a spare tire, which is nice. And that's, you know, the full-size spare. It's the same tire that's on the vehicle. You do get some lights back here with the little Bronco light. 
110 volt, 400 watt max plug-in. You also get a 12 volt power point back here. You get these cargo net holders right there. And then the other cool thing that this one has is you got these cargo lamps right there. You turn those on. Those are in the tops of the tailgate here. And what's really neat about them, they're LED and they're adjustable. So you can push them to adjust to wherever you need to see and uh, they kind of stick into place. So that's pretty neat. Those seats do fold down and they go almost completely flat, which is nice. And you also get the flipper glass, which is nice as well if you have like a bike rack on here or you have a boat, camper, whatever, hooked up on the hitch, you can still get into the back without having to lift the gate up or disconnect your camper or take your bikes off. Speaking of that hitch, 2,200 pound capability towing on this vehicle, and you do get a four pin wiring back here. LED license plate lights, and um, yeah. You do get the capless fuel fill on the vehicle, which I like. This one has the intelligent access, so you just have to have the key fob in your pocket and once you touch this handle, it'll automatically unlock. Blind spot monitoring in the mirrors. It does have the door code entry, which um, is a really nice feature as well. Now this is the Ebony Roast Leather Trim. So it's kind of a two-tone. You get the black and then the roast brown leather combination. The back rest here is suede you get the bronco embossed in that backrest and you get that on both front seats this one has the power sunroof which comes with the badlands package and uh, power windows power locks power mirrors you get that trim around the handle there the leather on the door here this is kind of like a soft touch not really sure what material that is it's kind of a rubber feel to it um, but power windows, power locks, power mirrors has the B&O premium sound system and When uh, you open the doors you get all the animation on both screens It's pretty cool And those rocks turn into the Bronco there, which is awesome and then you get the nighttime sky in the mountains there Auto headlamps on here and fog lamps. You get the tilt telescopic steering wheel. You have paddle shifters on the back here. And then you have all the technology stuff, the lane departure, um, lane keep assist. It's, it's really a cool system. You have the forward collision warning. You also have the adaptive cruise control. Um, and then it'll actually keep you in your lane. It'll adjust the steering wheel to keep you like right in the middle of the lane. Like the steering wheel as well. Everybody's commented on the Bronco logo right in the middle there. It's nice and big. Leather wrap steering wheel. The steering wheel's heated. You get the 6.5 inch LCD display. You have the digital speedometer, compass, outside temp. All the pertinent information, miles to empty on the bottom, and I'm sure you can change all of that. Um, once again, that leather wrap steering wheel is really nice. You got audio controls on there as well as Bluetooth controls. Comes with the Sync 3 touchscreen radio. Has AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. Of course, it has the factory navigation system. And you also have um, your different settings. You have Android Auto, Apple CarPlay capabilities, Ford Pass Connect on here as well. Um, you can change the display and all that good stuff on there. So it's the same radio that's in a lot of the Ford vehicles. So if you're used to a Ford vehicle, you won't have a learning curve jumping into the Bronco. This is also where your uh, front camera is. You just have to press this button here. And that's that 180 degree camera. So that's the narrow view. You can do the wide view, which is pretty cool, which gives you the true 180 uh, degrees. And then when you uh, start it up and put it in reverse, 
you have the dynamic grid lines. You have that center line, which is lined right up with your receiver hitch, so you can get right up to whatever you're going to be hauling. And then you hit plus, and it goes right over the receiver hitch, so you can get hooked up the first time, every time, without a problem. The other cool thing is that you have the wide view for the back as well. So you have the 180 back wide view as well, so you can see what's coming from the sides. Really cool stuff there. And then I'm just going to turn that off so that you always have the check rear seats for occupants um, so I don't get gassed out here in the picture studio. You have the start-stop capabilities. You have your, your volume controls right there. Down here are your climate controls. It includes the dual climate control, the heated seats, heated steering wheel button. And then you have your 8-speed automatic transmission right here with a manual mode for those paddle shifters. You also have the wireless cell phone charge pad, two uh, chargers down there, a USB and a USB-C. You have the keyless entry with remote start. It says Bronco on the back. Definitely a heavy-duty, thick key fob. Um, electronic parking brake. And then down here is the select terrain system or the goat modes go over any terrain type of terrain is what that stands for and uh, what's really cool is when you turn this knob it'll change the terrain settings in your front cluster here so I'll turn that so that you can see when I change the settings what it does so right now you have normal if you go right you get eco sport mode and slippery mode. And what I meant by go right, you turn the knob right. If you turn the knob left, it'll change those as well. And then for the Badlands package, you get mud and ruts, and then you also get sand and the rock crawl. So the rock crawl and the mud and ruts is what happens when you um, get the Badlands package. You get those two options. Notice you got the four wheel drive and the rear diff lock. Now if I tried to, and it'll automatically put those settings on down here, that's your still stability control and this is your trail system, so trail control enabled, so use set button to set the speed. But what's uh, kind of neat is if you go to like sport mode and you try to put the rear locker on it'll tell you that you can't do it rear differential lock not available so that's a pretty cool system really a smart system uh, you don't have to be very intelligent to use it um, which is nice for me B&O sound system up there and you do get the power sunroof up here up here you get your map lights or uh, you get your sunglass holder and you do get a sunshade for that. It's a power sunshade. Not sure if I like that. I like the more manual ones. And then the power sunroof. Opens like so. And it's nice and smooth, which you'd expect from Ford. That opens up that much. And of course you do get your map lights up there. They're pretty bright. We'll take a quick look at the back seats and then we'll do one more final walk around on the vehicle. So the back seats are trimmed out, very similar to the front seats. The only difference is you don't get the uh, Bronco embossed into the suede back there. You do get cup holders right here and you also get the latch child safety system. You get two of those, one on each side. You get that rubber flooring back here. It does come with another 110 volt, 400 watt plug-in back here. You get these backrests with the uh, holders for tools or what have you. Side curtain airbags. There's little pouches on the side of the seats too that you can put stuff in. So that's kind of a neat little storage area. And then these seats do fold down. Like I said, you also have the headrests that will go down like so. You can see just how nice and flat that those actually go, which is nice if you have to haul a bunch of extra stuff. And they go up nicely. You have side curtain airbags on the back seats as well. And I like that the uh, seat belts don't get caught on the latch. That's, that's a nice feature. Back doors are trimmed out just like the fronts and uh, it does have the child safety locks back here that you can adjust with the keys. 
And we'll do one more final walk around. I got all the lights on now. So you have the LED license plate lights, the LED tail lamps. You get that nice roof rack up there. A little bit better headroom in the back than the front, and this thing definitely has better headroom than the Escape. I think it's about like two inches better than the Escape. You can see those LED headlamps, running lights, and fog lights. Looks really good. And um, really nice vehicle. I'm uh, pretty impressed with what Ford has done on this Bronco Sport. And to see more pictures of Broncos, you can go to our website, which is right there, www.summitauto.com. Full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to uh, check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to our YouTube channel on your left, a link to more Ford Bronco videos like this one on your right. If you have not been to our website on the bottom, a link to our website, click those, check us out. And we're super excited to be offering the 2021 Ford Bronco Sport, especially in shadow black with the Badlands package. And uh, remember to check us out at summitautoford.com. Thanks again for checking out the video.